Hi there Freedom Builders and welcome back to the channel. Today's topic for the video is my favorite YouTube channels. I have been asked if I could make a little recommendation as to which channels I'm actually watching on a regular basis and of course I will. I just have so many so I need to make two or three of these videos to not make it an hour long uh, review here. So let's just get started right away. I can tell you that some of these channels are rather small, uh, but I've chosen these that I actually think are the best value. And when I talk about best value, I know that all of us are simply just having 24 hours per day. And there's not really any need in trying to just binge watch some uh, low quality channels. And when I say low channel, I mean where there's not much much value in what you hear because several of the channels i'm going to show you today they do not have the best production quality uh, a bit like mine i know a lot could be done on my production quality and i hope that i'll get around to that as well Ju please don't judge these channels just from the visual outlook not not all of them anyway what i have chosen today for my list here i think we have uh, 10 or 11 different videos here and they are both educational and some of them are a bit also on the uh, entertaining part and um, yes let's just get to it and we'll have a look at the first one the first one here and i should say this is in no specific order so there's no priority i simply just took them off my list so uh, let's just have a look at them I'll also link to all the channels in the in the section below here so that you can just go down and click and you don't have to know them all. The first one here is Ted Bauman, uh, the Bauman Daily. And this is one of the channels that actually have quite a great educational content, I think. But you should not expect the highest production quality if we're just che uh, checking the first video here. All right, here we go. Here's Ted Bauman. So this is Ted Bauman and he's pretty much just talking uh, all video and he's showing some charts. And I know for some of you that might be a bit boring and you want to see some action and fast uh, editing and so on. And of course that can be tempting to choose channels like the uh, like this. but. But the Bauman channel is actually, uh, I think, a, a fairly a good educational channel that you could choose if you want to dive a bit deeper into some of the content. Uh, we can just have a quick look here at some of the stuff he's looking at on the videos here. Um, he's looking about buy and hold, about if this is a bull market and so on and so forth. You should, of course, be aware that some of the channels are very biased and I'll try to tell you when I think they are. So some of them are extremely bearish, some are extremely bullish. What I do like with the channel is that they don't hide their bias, they know their bias, but they do have some good arguments. And then I can decide if I believe them or not, but uh, just listening to an opinion channel without arguments, that's not really something uh, I like. Now. I have another channel here and again a channel where the production qual quality is absolutely not uh, impressive. Not yet anyway. He's doing uh, a bit better now. It is a small channel but he's, he started just something like uh, yeah April this year. So he's actually growing uh, quite fast and uh, it's called the Fed Observer. And I don't know much about him because I, I haven't been able to find much information. He has a website also called the Fed Observer where he's doing some uh, blogging. Uh, what I can tell from the knowledge he has, um, I'm pretty sure he has a banking background from one of the larger banks. He knows an extremely lot of in-depth uh, stuff about all of this. And what you can see, uh, he's, uh, he is talking about specific stocks. Uh, he's also analyzing the US-China conflict here. Uh, he's diving into the futures market. Why could the oil futures go sub zero, uh, looking at quantitative easings and so on and so forth. And um, I really can recommend him. Uh, when we're looking at the production quality here, uh, he's simply just sitting in a little studio. Ah, oh, just a second. So I just skipped the ads for you here. Uh, but you can see he's simply just sitting 
in his studio with this weird microphone uh, holder here. I'm not really sure why he has picked that one. But as you can see, there's not much to it. But if you want a channel that has a vast uh, amount of knowledge here, this is a, a must watch channel. I think that his videos are extremely good quality when we are talking about knowledge, uh, the, the production quality, that so and so, but absolutely a must see. The Fed Observer, uh, a link to it below here. I should say I'm not affiliated or anything with any of these. These are just my favorite channels. Now, the next channel here is also a very uh, quick mover right now. Uh, he's gone extremely quickly up to 100,000 subs here. Uh, it's called Coffeezilla, and it's not really an investment uh, channel, not at all. But I know that a lot of you out there that are interested in investments, you're also in, interested in how to make money, uh, some uh, making money online and so on. And what Coffeezilla is doing in an excellent way. I think he's the best at it at all. Uh, there are a lot of these channels coming up right now, but he is so entertainment and extremely good at his research. What he's doing is that he's taking on a lot of these scams. Now, the other day it was a 5G force field for $350. That was actually just a USB stick. But other times it is taking up these online fake gurus claiming that they can make you a gazillion do dollars uh, in no time. And uh, he's taking it on in such a humoristic and uh, deep, in-depth uh, way that I simply, I, I, uh, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan and every time his uh, video comes out, I am the first one, one to watch. So Coffeezilla, if you haven't seen it, uh, it is simply uh, a must-see. It is entertaining. Uh, it is just him pretty much in his uh, little studio, just like the other ones here. Uh, well, yeah, sometimes he's using a, a, a green screen, but it's just him and his mic and uh, uh, telling and he is just uh, uh, he, he's, he's so good and so funny. Uh, so you must see him if you have ever been interested in anything about making money online, something, then he will tear most of these gurus completely apart. The good thing is also that when he tears them apart, before he does that, he is actually reaching out to them and saying, hey, would you like to comment on, on this stuff? And uh, sometimes some of the these gurus are taking uh, the challenge and they are doing an online uh, discussion and um, yeah, well, there's no doubt that he is tearing them apart pretty much. So um, I must see, absolutely. The next one here, I think, doesn't really need any introduction for most of you. That is Graham Steven, and he has uh, 2 million subscribers on this channel, uh, which means that he must be making a fortune each month. I guess a couple of hundred thousand just in, in ad revenues from YouTube. Uh, without knowing it, but that would be my guess here. Um, if you don't know him, Graham, Graham Stephen is a young guy. He's about 30 and he started out as a real a real estate investor. And um, he started uh, making these video blogs, uh, blogs about it. And it has simply just grown because of his style. He has a good production quality. Uh, he's pretty much sitting in his studio most of the time. Let's just see here. Here he is in his studio, he has his posters in the background, the same lamp that a lot of the other or several of the other uh, YouTube uh, in this uh, niche here, they have also adopted this uh, strange uh, orange lamp in the back here. He has his dinosaur head and that is pretty much what he's doing. But he is actually, it's not an investment channel I would say, it is more for many people I know, uh, an inspirational channel where they can see what can some young guy make uh, out of money? And today he's making most of his money on YouTube, no doubt about that. Um, but it is good knowledge. It is very well edited. It is, uh, um, the, the, the topics are good, I think. What I do think is, because I can feel that I have been, uh, at a moment I watched it a lot, but I have been watching it less and less. And that is because the style is, kind of getting the same. That's my opinion and, and you're welcome to, to disagree. Um, I do watch the videos where I can see he's picking a sub, uh, some topic where he's going in depth with something. 
but when he is uh, reviewing credit cards uh, or giving response to PewDiePie's response to his video and so on, I simply skip him because it's just getting a bit too much of the same in my opinion. But when he gets into a topic, uh, get paid to invest in oil or um, some house investment stuff or something like that, I, I really like seeing them and it is eye candy, it is well edited. So if you don't know him, I think it is a place where you must go to see some of his videos. But again, maybe because I do like the, the time I spend on YouTube and I do spend quite a lot of time there. Uh, when I spend time on YouTube, I like it to be something that actually makes me smarter, gives me more strategies, gives me a new perspective or new knowledge about things. And in that aspect, I am kind of feeling that he's not really hitting me with more than 10 or 20% of his videos. But that is okay. I know he has a huge, huge audience and um, uh, that is okay. Another one in the same uh, kind of genre here is this guy. Andre Jick, I think it is pronounced, pronounced, and this is kind of the same. Andre Jick is also a fairly young guy, and here I am comparing to my own 46 here, and uh, this is a very well-produced channel. You can see he has 702,000 subscribers, and I think he just started something like a year and a half ago, so he is a, a big idol to many of the new YouTubers as to how to grow a YouTube channel. Uh, what Andre is, is you know, the reason why it's called Magic of Finance is that he used to be, I think at least, a professional magician. And this is where my interest was really spurred a bit because I used to be a magician. Not many people know that, but in my younger years, uh, I was quite an active magician. So I can, uh, I can see a lot of the tricks here are uh, that, that is very neat knitted into his uh, videos. His videos are, as I said, well produced. It is a bit like, uh, as I see it, the Graham Stephen. Uh, it is a lot about uh, should we use this broker or that broker? And of course, there are also affiliate links so you can get some free stocks or whatever. They're looking a lot at the stimulus package, of course, because they're focused on the US market. You can see a lot of pay take, uh, paycheck protection, Federal Reserve, uh, so on and so forth. And um, I think you would like his videos. There are not many of them where I really think, wow, I learned something new there. So today I'm pretty much skipping most of his videos. But again, it is because when you've seen 10 of his videos, I kind of feel like you are you have seen them all. Uh, to me, at least, it is getting a little bit boring. Um, nice with the magic tricks, nice with the very good editing. And I do absolutely think he deserves 700,000 subscribers. But if you are here to get some investment channels, this is a good fun, but not really, in my opinion, a, a very good educa ed educational thing. Then we have another channel here, and that is Ryan Schreibner. I think it is pronounced Schreibner. And that is, of course, also personal finance, entrepreneurship and stocks. Ryan was actually, as far as I can tell, one of the first one in this niche, as you can see, that Graham Stephen and Andrew Jick and these are, uh, are trying to fight over today. Uh, he was, I think he started in 2016, so he's a bit behind the other. He's not growing as quickly, but uh, for a while he didn't come out with so many videos, but it is, it's seeming like he has really taken up the speed again. Maybe he saw the success of the other channels and thought that he would kind of follow it. Um, what I do like with him, and I, and I actually like his channel more and more, and maybe even a bit more than Graham Stephen and Andre Jig, and that is that um, it is not as smartly filmed and edited. And I'm not saying that because it is bad quality, not at all, but uh, I think he's taking up, up some very good topics. And uh, it seems like often he's the first to get a good idea in this space. And um, then the others are following. I can see, and that is a, a basic trick among, among uh, YouTubers that want to grow quickly, 
when they can see that something is really moving fast on YouTube and uh, and videos are getting a lot of this, they are making spin-offs and making kind of copies with their own little twist. I do that myself once in a while, so nothing wrong about that. But as you can see, he's sitting with his little whiteboard here and um, he's going in depth with some topics and I actually think he's, he's doing a very good job. Lately, he has jumped a bit on the dividend bandwagon, if, if you could say that. Um, over the last one or two years, the big trend has been that people love to see uh, YouTubers sh showing their dividend portfolios and uh, telling them how, they, how they're doing from week to week. And I got $5.20 in dividend this week and uh, the entire FIRE movement and so on. But I just think that Ryan Schreibner is actually doing it uh, a bit more, could you say, authentic. It doesn't, it doesn't seem when he's making a video like uh, there's a, a production company behind it. I know there's not uh, in the others, Graham Stephen and Andrew Jick, they just either, they are good at editing or they know something, someone good at editing. Ryan Schreibner just, in my opinion, seems a bit more authentic here. Now, let's go to the next one here. And that's also a little newcomer that, uh, and he's actually not doing very much for the whole production side. Uh, if you saw the other day, he was actually featuring me in one of his uh, interview videos. He has this uh, channel called JMAC Investing. And uh, he's a dividend investor, but he's also doing uh, some opinion pieces, some analysis on some of them different stocks here. He is taking up a lot of this Nikola Tesla thing, which has made his channel grow. I understand that. And this is a, a good example of a channel taking up a, a topic that really is trending right now. And there's nothing wrong with that. And what he does that I, I do like the twist he's doing is that he's he's not just pretending to know everybody, uh, sorry, know everything about a topic, but he knows somebody that knows something about this topic. And then he's interviewing them. You can see here he has an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with uh, Trevor Milton uh, from Nikola here. And uh, well, he did an interview with me the other day on my approach to investing. And so it's not necessarily hot shots all the way uh, on, on his channel, but uh, I think they are actually genuine and authentic. And this is one of the channels where you can follow a portfolio but he's just putting so much more into it that I actually think he's worth a follow. Now he has a sister channel or whatever you call it. And that is called the educated investor. Just a second. Yes, here it is the educated investor show. And he has chosen to have the sister channel where he's doing all his uh, interviews. And as you can see, here is how to build wealth and financial freedom. And that is funny enough with building freedom, which is me, of course. But he also have a lot of, lot of other uh, people here talking about options, talking about pretty much anything. And um, as far as I can tell, he's moving all of the live streams when he recorded them, he's moving them over on these, the Educate Investor Show. As you can see, that's very new, 168 subscribers. And sometimes people tend to leave these small channels because they're thinking, well, they're not so popular. So I only want to see channels that other people think are popular. But uh, he is growing quite quickly and he's gone up to, what is that, 4,500 or so on his main channel quite quickly. So I think here is an uh, upcoming successful channel, the, the JMAC uh, investor here. All right, we only have, uh, I think, three left here for today. And the next one is very educational, but actually it, I do love the simple style. It is called Whiteboard Finance and that is with a guy called Marco here. And what he's basically doing most of the time is that he's educating us. Uh, I'm not completely sure if he has a background in banking or finance or if, if he's just very good at, at his research. But um, what he's doing, let's just have a quick look at one of his videos. Yes, here it is. Uh, we have Marco. We have him. Let's just take the sound out. Uh, he's here, he's, bought a, uh, he's in front of his whiteboard, that's the name, Whiteboard Finance. And what he's doing is that he's basically just taking us through some topics that I think he's doing fairly well. I think actually that uh, a lot of his research is done very well. 
and sometimes when uh, I'm doing research for a specific topic, uh, I'm using him and five to ten other channels here to see, are they saying anything about it? Have I missed anything in my own uh, research? And then sometimes uh, he actually, white, Mark Hort Whiteboard Finance here, he has a, an angle where he's saying, hey, that's a new angle on this. And um, I think that is uh, very good that YouTubers can get a bit of inspiration for, from each other here. Uh, again, he is US based, so there is of course some stimulus uh, thing and he has a few videos where he is uh, outside, away from his whiteboard. And that is, let me just see if I can find one of them, some uh, thing about rental property, some uh, of his friends that, that has an ATM site, hustle and so on. But most of the time he is in front of his whiteboard uh, talking, explaining, and I think he's doing it very well. And <laughs> yeah, he has a likable face and, and voice and, and uh, I don't get tired of listening to him. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like overproduced. It's actually very basic and very simple and I do like that. All right, a couple of more channels. The Duomi Initiative, I have no idea why it's called that. But uh, the Duomi Initiative is a channel that used to be, at least as far as I can tell, a lot about uh, Forex trading. Uh, he still do, uh, does have some videos about some currency, uh, sometimes some analysis, euro or C dollar here. But what I do like is that these videos are of a very high quality and they are very well researched. and. Um, I'm not sure if he has some background in, in the banking here, but he has, uh, so he, he's doing his research well, and either he or one of his partners are extremely good at the entire production side. So it is done without seeming cheesy or overproduced or anything, but uh, let's say what's going on with all oil prices here. You can see here, uh, he has a video about oil and it is, uh, uh, there, he uses some clips from different uh, vendors here and they are edited well together. He has uh, articles, they are, it is moving all the time. It is just high quality production and it is something that you can see, maybe I could learn something from him here. Uh, he's just, in many of his videos, he's using uh, maybe four or five or eight minutes here to explain something. And uh, that is some, oh, okay, 22 minutes uh, here. But uh, that is uh, some criticism. I'm getting sometimes your videos are way too long. And yes, I know that I'm trying to cut them short, but I have so much knowledge in my head that I want to get out. All right, two more channels and I'll call it a day. Jay Bravo is a US, I think he's a college financial teacher. Uh, as you can see, he's not spending much time on his, on his thumbnails. You can <laughs> absolutely tell him that. Um, I'm watching him less and less, I would say. And let's just have a quick look at his channel. Um, Jay Bravo here is um, standing in front. You can see him and he has this weird hair that a lot of people comment. And he is doing some research. He's doing a video at least once per day where he's commenting on uh, the world, on the US economic situation. And then he has this thing about trying to make you laugh. And in the beginning, I thought it was kind of refreshing, but uh, I must admit, and that's just my opinion, that quite quickly, I simply uh, I, I get enough of it. It, it, is, uh, it is seeming to me a bit too overplayed. Maybe it's not even played. I guess that's just how he is. He seems like a good fellow. He's also selling some courses and referring to, to some other uh, courses he has affiliate deals on. But uh, the knowledge is okay, and if you want to have a quick look on what is going on today, that could be unemployment numbers, that could be the virus, that could be anything. He is doing a, a fair job of, um, of giving you an overview of that. But often uh, he gets sidetracked and talked about um, anything else, and all of a sudden, even though he says that this is five minutes, then uh, 20 or 25 minutes have gone, and you're sitting there with a feeling where uh, did I hear a bit too much about his family or his dog or his students in the college or something like that? But that's just my opinion. The last one here is actually a very simple channel and that is something called the Swedish Investor. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but what they do is, that is very simple. If you're tired of having to read a lot of different books about investments, then 
he's reviewing them. He's giving you the resume, the, the, the quick read of these. Uh, and he's doing it in, uh, as far as I, it, I think he's doing it in something called Scribe, which I have also uh, tried a bit. Let's just have a look at one of his videos. Yes, here you can see it. Um, what he's doing is the Scribe is a very good little software tool that you can use or a platform here that you can use to make some very nice explainer videos. And uh, this is from a book called The Year of Less. Uh, I haven't heard of it. But what he's doing is that he's he's simply reading them and he's making uh, you not having to read it by explaining all the main topics. And of course, some of the books when I watch this video uh, or some of his other videos, I'm actually thinking, hey, I want to buy that. Uh, so it's not like you don't have to read them ever because of course he's not telling at all, but he's giving you a very, very good overview. And I actually think it is quite amazing. And his channel has grown extremely much. Of course, because some of the YouTube uh, CEO of the search engine optimization where people are searching for all the new books and then they end up with his channel and that's actually quite smart. Um, and I will do some book reviews. I have gotten some requests for that. And I actually think I will use some of the same style here. Of course, all, sometimes he's also using a, a little picture or a little film from his own life. But 95% of the time, it is simply just reviews of books telling you what's in them so you don't have to read them if you don't want to. So The Swedish Investor, very good channel. Uh, it is actually uh, well spent time, 10 minutes every time. And uh, I'm getting away from the challenge smarter every single time. So that's about it. Uh, as I said, I'll link to all the channels I mentioned here below. And I'll get on with a new video and another one over the next week or so about the rest of the channels that I really like to see. I hope you found some inspiration. If you have some channels that I have missed, then put them in the comment section below and I might take them in a new video at some point. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, all the buttons down there. Until we talk next time, take care of yourself and your money out there. Bye for now.